So here we're going to look at these rock pocket mice um, and the activity from HHMI on looking at their allele frequencies. So here we see in this um, part of the slide that the mice come in two different phenotypes. We have dark mice and light mice. And the um, right here, the homozygous recessive phenotype is light. So when we look at the... Um, when we look at the P's and the Q's, so the dominant allele is um, frequency is D, of capital D is P, and the frequency of the recessive allele is Q. Um, and now when we look at this first question here, it says in a hypothetical population consisting of 100 dark, I'm sorry, 100 rock pocket mice, 81 individuals have light, sandy colored fur. Their genotype is little d, little d. The other 19 individuals are dark colored and have either genotype uh, homozygous dominant or heterozygous. Find P and Q for this population and calculate the frequency of heterozygous genotypes in the population. So one thing that they are actually asking about, um, ultimately we want to find the frequency of the heterozygotes. Uh, but first to do that, because the frequency includes P and Q, we have to calculate P and Q. So they tell us that if we go here to this Google Draw, um, that 81 of the individuals out of the 100 are actually light phenotype. Those are the individuals that are homozygous recessive. So in order to actually solve for Q, um, for Q, you would have to, so here to get Q, we would want to take, well, in reality, Q squared is equal to 0. 8, 1, right? Uh, so to take and find what Q is, the allele frequency, we would take the square root of both of these numbers. So our Q, oh my goodness, Q would be equal to 0.81 and the square root would be equal to 0.9. So that means our P is equal to 0.1. And now the question is asking us for 2PQ. So what we need to do is we're going to do 2 times 0.9 times 0.1. So when we get this, we should get 2 times 0.9 times 0.1. We get 0.18. And what that really means, that means 18% of the population is going to be heterozygous. So in this box, our answer would be that. Our Q is um, 0.9 and our P would be 0.1. All right, so when we go on to, uh, there's the answers there if you wanted to see it nicely. <laughs> uh, this question says, if there are 12 rock pocket mice with dark colored fur and four with light colored fur in a population, what is the value of Q? So we have 12 with dark and 4 with light. So if we um, look at this, uh, let's go ahead and see. So we have 4 with light and 4 with dark. Oh my gosh, Mary. We have 12 with dark and 4 with light. So remember the dark is both the homozygous dominant as well as the heterozygous. And the light are the homozygous recessive. So we can start with finding our Q. So we would do um, four out of the total population. Our total population is 16. So our Q squared is going to equal 0.25. And then if we wanted to take the square root of this, sorry, we take the square root of both sides, we find that Q is equal to 0.5. 50% of the population, I'm sorry, of the gene pool is the recessive allele. So here our answer would be 0.5. Okay. Now if we look at our next question, um, if the frequency of P in a population is 0.6, what is the frequency of Q? Well because P plus Q equals 1, our answer here would be 0.4. Um, in number 3, in a population of 1,000 rock pocket mice, 360 have dark colored fur. The others have light colored fur. 
if the population is in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium. But first, let's go ahead and um, actually like write down our information as we go through this, so that way it's a little bit easier to keep track. So 360 have um, dark colored fur, and then the rest, it said, have light colored fur. So you want to find out there's a thousand total, so you want to do a thousand minus 360. So we're looking at um, 640 have light fur. Now that light fur is the homozygous recessive phenotype. So now, if we wanted to find, the question is asking, if the population is at Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium, what percentage of the mice in the population are homozygous dominant dark colored mice? Now, I think a lot of times people's instinct would be to um, start and just say, oh, 360. I think a lot of times they go, oh, sorry that this keeps auto-correcting, um, but I think they, automatically assume that you can take 360 divided by 1,000, and that is equal to p squared. That is not the case because we want to remember that the dark phenotype is both homozygous dominant and heterozygous. So the 360 is actually p squared and 2pq. So that's a little tricky here. But if we find p and we find q, we can solve for this. So if we know that 640 are light colored, that means that Q squared is equal to 640 divided by the total, or 1,000. So 640 divided by 1,000 is going to equal 0 0.64. So 64% of the population has light fur. But that's our Q squared. So if we take the square root of both of these, so here we're going to go ahead and um, take the square root of Q squared and the, qu <laughs> the square root of 0.64, and we find that um, our Q is, oops, our Q is equal to 0 0.8. But because P plus Q equals 1, and if we know that, um, so if we have p plus 0 0.8 equals 1, we know that p is equal to 0 0.2. So now our question asked us for the, um, so our p, we can just type that in, is 0 0.2, and our q was 0 0.8. So p squared, you would just take 0.2 squared, it's equal to actually only 4% of the population, or a 0.04. All right, so here are the answers in case you wanted to check and read them from uh, the website. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause here in case this question takes longer than my remaining time.